All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to HN Gaming. Today's video, I'm bringing you a half of domination on the map combine. And today I just want to talk about some things they can do to improve Black Ops 3. Now again, I think Black Ops 3 is a great game and I think they've done a lot of what's necessary to bring Call of Duty back to its peak and get people interested in the game again and genuinely excited about uh, playing pubs and competitive. Both seem to be thriving right now. And I think it's just gonna, nothing but up and it's gonna do nothing but positive things for Black Ops 3. But for that being said, I'm going to be doing a little bit of nitpicking here. It's definitely not perfect. And I've heard some things from other YouTubers and maybe some original leaders from myself. And first I'm going to start off with a couple of things they can do to improve some guns. Now, there's just two I have and one's a really popular thing. It's Buff the Weevil and Nade Shot, who is a former competitive player, I'm sure most of you know him, is really into buffing the Weevil. And I agree with this because I think that this game it does such a good job of like balancing out guns to make them usable. And the Weevil, I think, is really only good with, like, rapid fire. Like, if you're good, you can really use any gun. But for, like, the average player, you're not they're not going to find much success with the Weevil. So I think the Weevil needs to be either get a little bit more fire rate or just a little bit stronger, and then it's fine. And another thing is a lot of people, especially pros, want to nerf the Vesper. And what nerfing means is to make it a little bit weaker. And I actually disagree with this. I think the Vesper is fine. I know I've seen some videos of some crazy, like, two-shot kills, but... For me and for like the average pubs player, I don't think the Vesper is overpowered. I think it's good up close, it's okay, it's decent from medium range, and from long range it's, it's not very good. Like I think there's a lot of instances where from like a medium to long range I get a ton of hit markers with that thing. And I don't want the fire rate taken down, I, I just want the gun to stay where it is because I think it's perfect because it's really only usable in like some situations. It's what the Vesper is supposed to be. If you take that away from it it's just it's not gonna ever be touched again by most of the players it just it, right now it's fine what it is i do not want the vesper to be nerfed next is one that white boy 7th street is actually a big advocate of and i agree is more party games i believe they only have gun game in this which i haven't even played but party games is a great little thing to do when you're bored and i miss black ops one days where they would have like the cod points and i, I think you should be able to wager like crypto keys or something that would make people want to play it so much and i would even dive into that so they definitely need the party games that they used to have in old Call of Duties. Uh, the next one is they've done double weapon XP and double XP. And I think they need to implement a double crypto key weekend. And I was originally against this because of how many uh, I was saving up pretty quick to do supply drop videos. And I didn't have a problem with it. But now that rare supply drops seem to be the norm, I think they not only need to do a double crypto key weekend, but you need to get more crypto keys per game or at least they need to... Like, your individual stats need to re reflect how many crypto keys you get more. Because now that rare supply drops are, like, what everyone's opening, it takes me, like, I might only, I probably only open, like, for a night of playing, one to two rare supply drops. And the odds are I'm not going to get anything. I just, I need to be able to earn more. Like, I'm not even earning that much, and I hate getting, like, one to two rare supply drops, where with common I could save up for videos, and now I can't even, like, save up because it would take so long. Next point I want to bring up is the domination spawns. I've talked about this in another video, so I won't go into in depth with this. Is that if you have like the B flag and you don't have a home flag, you should still be spawning B unless the other team is pushing B and then you can spawn out. The game just overreacts to one guy going in the team's base and then it just flips. I don't want the spawns to be flipped as much as they do in domination, so I really hope they look at that. If not, you know, it's fine. I still love playing Domination. Some of those flip spawns are actually how I go on my streaks. But, And then the last thing, guys, I'm going to talk about is getting maps more than two times in a row. I can't tell you how many times I've been in lobbies. But first off, why aren't people voting? It seems like I get like four to five people who vote. Why should everyone should vote? Because people actually don't care. They want to play Exodus or Aquarium. Like, please vote. They need to make it so the maps can't be played more than twice in a row. I like that formula. Maybe three, but I can't tell you how many times I've played Combine, and it's been like five times in a row. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Leave in the comments what you think could be done to improve Black Ops 3. Thank you all for watching, Now we'll talk to you all later.